Welcome to the Celebrity Marketing System. My name is Seth Green and I will be your host. If I could show you a way to increase your relationship with your fans, make them more loyal to you, own your own fan-based communication system, and generate millions of dollars per year in passive revenue, who would want to get that? Who am I and why should you listen to me? I'm the founder of Market Domination LLC and I'm known as America's Ultimate Marketing Magician. I've written five best-selling books on marketing, and I'm one of the foremost experts in the country on using social media to help celebrities own their own fan base and make a whole lot more money doing it. Let me explain how that works and how it's possible. When you took out a contract for your American Express Black Card, American Express swore they would never sell your data, and they told you the truth. However, when your assistant goes to Starbucks to get you coffee and swipes your card through a credit card terminal, that credit card processor has no such contract with you as a customer. You don't even know who they are. They have a contract with the merchant, Starbucks in this case, and they can do whatever they want with your data, including sell it, which has been going on for decades and decades and decades. This isn't news. That data was available for purchase for direct mail. And typically it costs so much money that unless you were a large national advertiser like Ford or GM, you weren't going to spend the mil tens of millions of dollars to get access to that data. However, what's changed is about nine months ago, that data became available to be appended to social media. So what that means now is I can put an ad in your fans' news feed based on the fact that they bought your new album from iTunes yesterday. I can see any purchase they make on a credit card, and I can see anything that shows up on their credit report. So I can see what albums they, what CD, what downloads they buy. I can see what concert tickets they're buying. I can see what T-shirts they're buying. I can even see what kind of food they eat at the grocery store. I can see what shows up on their credit report. I can see their mortgage. I can see that what kind of car they drive, what they bought it, how much they paid for it when they bought it. I can see what they do for a living and how much money they make. In short, privacy is dead. But you can use this to increase your relationship with your fans, make them more loyal to you, make them happier with you, bomb them to you for life, and make a whole lot more money doing it. Let me give you an example of one of the celebrities that we worked with. In case you don't know, this is Jack Canfield. He's the co-author of the best-selling book of all time, Chicken Soup for the Soul, with over 500 million copies sold. Earlier this year, Jack launched a product with Stephen Bill Harrison called BestsellerBlueprint.com. It was a membership community. It was a course that you took on how to write your own best-selling book. And who would be a good prospect for for some who would pay several thousand dollars to learn how to write their own best-selling book? Well, we ran 200 different cam Facebook ad campaigns based on this credit card data, and drove 2.2 million dollars in sales in seven days, which is pretty cool. But it gets even better. This is one of the campaigns that we did for Jack. You can see the ad right here. Want to write a book? Free author training. Click here. And you'll see, obviously, that's a trackable link right there so that we can see each ad how many people signed up from. So here's the interesting thing. One of the 200 different campaigns we did for Jack was based on customers of a company called Writer's Digest. If you subscribe to Writer's Digest magazine, it's probably because you want to be a writer. So one ad we ran to Writer's Digest customers, again, based on that Facebook data, 13,257 customers saw it, 553 people went to that website, 270 people signed up to get more information about how they could buy Jack's product. That's 48% of the people who went to his website. That's an incredibly high rate. In the normal marketing world, if you got 10% of the people who went to your website to sign up to get on your list to learn about how they could buy something from you, that's pretty good. So 48% is great. In this case, 452 people shared it on their own news feed and told people about it, which is free social proof. And the best part, the investment was only 92 cents for each person who signed up off this ad. He spent 92 cents per person to get them signed up on his promotional list to get a video series that explained why they should buy this product. Now let's turn that example into a case study 
for a recording artist. So let's pretend we're going to analyze Nicki Minaj, who just had an amazing smash hit, Anaconda, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Now, Nicki's a fascinating case study. Nicki has 10 million followers on Instagram, 6 million subscribers on YouTube, 18 million followers on Twitter, and 44 million fans on Facebook. Now, Nikki is taking a huge risk. What's the risk? Well, those 44 million followers on Facebook, they don't belong to her. They belong to Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook owns those fans, not Nikki. If Mark Zuckerberg changes his terms of service tomorrow, wakes up on the wrong side of bed, something happens to Facebook, Nikki doesn't know who those 44 million people are, and she's got no way to communicate with them. That fan base that she spent years building with hit record after hit record will, could be gone. Her way of talking to them is gone in an instant. That's a huge risk. And if you're a celebrity and you've got a substantial following on social media, you're taking the same risk. You don't own your own list. You don't own your Twitter followers. You don't own your YouTube subscribers. And you don't own your Instagram followers. The social network owns them. Now think about that. Not only do they own your list, but they're the ones making all the money. So if I wanted to right now, I could go on Facebook and put an ad in front of Nikki's 44 million fans on Facebook. Does Nikki see a dime of that money? No, she doesn't. Mark Zuckerberg gets it all. I could have a client that would spend $10 million advertising to Nicki Minaj fans, right? BET could call me and say, let's run a campaign to Nicki Minaj followers. We want to send $10 million ad budget. Nikki doesn't see a dime of that. Mark Zuckerberg keeps it all because he owns her list. Is that fair? Think about that. How many people are advertising to your fans right now and you're not making any money on that? You do all the work. You've got the talent but you're not making any money off of your presence on social media advertising. So how do you solve that problem? You have to own your own list, regardless of what the social networks do. You have to get them from Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest and into your own private fan community that you own, that you control, where you can communicate to your fans, they can communicate to you, and... No matter what happens to Facebook tomorrow, your system stays yours. It's your intellectual property. You own it. You can, your record company doesn't own it. You own it. You can communicate with them forever. And of course, your fans need a compelling reason to join. And of course, the best part is they need a compelling reason to pay for it. So you need, drum roll please, the celebrity marketing system, which can consists of, but isn't limited to, you get an interactive text message marketing system. Why is this important? 90% of text messages are open and read in 60 seconds from when they are received. Now, that isn't a stat from us. That's a statistic directly from the carriers like AT&T and Verizon. 90%. Think about it. Who's texting you? Your friends, your family. So you open it right away. If you were getting 300 text messages a day selling you Viagra, you wouldn't open them anymore and the open rate would drop. But because you're only allowed to market to people via text message who have signed up for it, that's not going to happen. So the open rate among text messages is going to stay really, really high. It's instantaneous communication. You need to be able to communicate to your customers where they are. They are on their smartphones. So you need to be able to communicate via text message. You need to be able to communicate with them via email. Now, I led with text messaging because the open rate is so much higher and the response rate is so much higher. Email, we all get tons of emails every day. So it's not as effective as it used to be. But it's still important, especially if you have a smart email marketing system that knows each customer that can track millions of customers, millions of email addresses, what they click on, what links they go to, what parts of your website they go to, and then market automatically accordingly based on what they're interested in. So if somebody gets an email from Nicki Minaj about the Anaconda, uh, about going to get Anaconda on iTunes, and they click the link to go to iTunes and buy it, then we need to, it automatically updates their contact record that this person clicked on the link to Anaconda so we know that they're interested in it. We could have an automatic follow-up email scheduled for everyone who clicked the Anaconda link to go out two days later promoting an Anaconda t-shirt. 
Two days after that, it could promote the Anna, a concert tour. It could promote Nikki's appearance on an upcoming television show. You get the idea. You also need an interactive marketing funnel that sells your community. You've got to convince your fans why they should join and why it's valuable to them to pay you money every month to be a part of your community. And we have experience of building literally hundreds of these for our clients, and we can build one for you as well. Now, of course, once you've sold them on an interactive fan membership community, you need an actual community for them to go to. And you need content. You need content that they want to consume. So what are some examples of that? I don't want to give away the store here, but what if there was exclusive videos from Nikki talking about, you know, behind the scenes of shooting my latest album, or here's me, day in the life of Nicki Minaj, or hey, just wanted to answer this question I saw a whole bunch of people had for me. Um, here's this personal video. Or what if it was a live video chat with Nikki? How many people would sign up to get on a live video chat and get the chance to ask her a question live? What if there was an exclusive song that was only put out to this fan community and the rest of the world couldn't get it? How exclusive would that be? How many people would be stoked for that? What if they got a chance, what if we have a deal with Live Nation and your private community members get a chance to buy concert tickets a day before they go on sale? What if they have an opportunity to buy exclusive VIP packages that aren't available anywhere else or backstage passes? Are you starting to see the potential of why they might sign up for this to get more from you? Now, is every fan, one of Nikki's 44 million Facebook followers going to sign up for this? Of course not, but I'd be willing to bet you that at the top 20%, those 8.8 .8 million who love her the most, who can't get enough of all things Nikki, um, they absolutely would, when given a chance, sign up for a chance, sign up to get more from Nikki. So you need a monthly marketing campaign. You've got to, A, sign up new members, and you've got to keep your members engaged. You've got to keep them paying. You've got to keep them coming back for more. You've got to keep them happy. You need monthly contests. Fans love to participate in contests. You've seen this all over social media, but you need to own the contest so that all of that buzz, all of that virality, all of that money that comes in comes to you. You need regular content that your fans will love and pay for. And let's be honest, you're busy being who you are. You don't have time to do all of this, which is why we write it for you in your voice, executed for you. It's a lot easier than you might think. So you also need credit card targeted ads to increase your fan base. So if Nikki's got 44 million followers, are there more people out there who have bought her out or bought her songs? Of course there are, but she's not reaching them. What if we could put ads in front of anyone who'd ever bought anything, any product, any t-shirt, any concert ticket, and then get them to join the community? We could increase her fan base, increase engagement with her fans so that more of them were talking to her and get new customers, not just for her albums and her apparel and her fragrance, but also for her membership community. We can clone her existing customers. We can run our credit card algorithm through that list of Nicki Minaj folks and see what else they buy, what other artists are they interested in, where, what would be a good company to approach for advertising and sponsorship of the Nicki Minaj membership community? Do they eat at McDonald's or Burger King? Do they um, go to Applebee's or Red Robin? Do they shop at Bonton or Macy's? If of, let's say, her 44 million followers, there are four or five million who are all also shopping at Macy's, should Macy's perhaps be a corporate sponsor of the fan community? You bet they should. Should they get to be able to pay Nikki for a for ad placement on this site? Should they be able to pay should they pay for a sponsored email? Should they get to sponsor a live video chat with a perhaps a mini commercial at the end? Should they be able to pay for Nikki to send out a text message to her new list? about them of course and all that money needs to come back to Nikki instead of going to the social networks that it's going to now you need regular offers to attract new customers and you need a system that generates advertising and sponsorship revenue like I'm just talking about without any work on your part and of course you need the monthly reporting you need to know what we, how much what did our fan base do this month how many sales did we make? How, many, how much ad revenue did we generate? This is literally a business in a box. It's you hire us. We do it for, we do it with you. We do all the tech work. We do all the marketing. We get it done for you. And you get 
passive revenue every single month. Now, if you were to go to a traditional ad agency and try and get this done, we honestly priced it and said, for a celebrity like Nikki, for a recording artist, for the Kardashians, what type of fee would you be looking for? And you'd be surprised. There were a whole lot of agencies who said, we couldn't even build that. They literally turned us away. They said, we don't even know how to do half of that. And the ones that said they could do it were looking at high six figures a year, $50,000 a month. And that didn't count. Now, obviously, there's expenses on top of that because we have no idea because it costs money to send text messages to your list. Um, and we have no idea how many people are going to sign up. So I can't forecast for that because one celebrity might have to send out 2 million text messages in a month and someone else with a bigger fan base might send out 10 million. And I can't possibly predict how much that's going to cost. But they were, these ad agencies were projecting you know, 500, 600,000 a year in, exp in, in, in their costs to build all this because it's not what they do. They're focused on traditional advertising or traditional online marketing. Whereas we, as the aptly titled, my fourth book is called Cutting Edge Marketing Magic, we are on the cutting edge. So what you get in the celebrity marketing system is interactive text messaging, interactive smart email system, an interactive marketing funnel that sells your community, an interactive fan membership community, monthly marketing campaigns, monthly contents, regular content your fans will love and pay for, credit card targeted ads to increase your fan base, increase engagement and get you new customers, our customer cloning system, and a system that generates advertising and sponsorship revenue for your platform without any work on your part. And instead of that crazy, ridiculous price that those ad agencies quoted of of $50,000 a month, this is only $19,997 a month plus 15% of sales. That's how we can charge a whole lot less because we become your partner, like a standard agency contract, the agency that represents you for your deals. We take 15% just like they would, except this revenue is all yours and the profit margin is Again, 85%. It's insanely high. And you own your list, you own your fan base, and you own a new business model that generates passive revenue, large quantities of it, every single month without a lot of work on your part that the social networks or the record companies can't take away. Now, because of all of the work involved in building this out, because obviously you can see this is... I mean, we have a large staff that does all of this work, and there's a lot of it. We can only work with seven celebrities. It's first come, first serve. We just don't have the manpower to handle any more. So if you want to be one of the lucky seven who owns their own fan base and marketing system to generate tens of millions of dollars of passive revenue, you can either call us at 888-899-9214, or you can Click the Add to Cart button below and let's get started. We look forward to working with you.